WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up straight off this TFNN noon update. And we're also looking at a Dow that's down 20. It was down 100 points earlier on. It's down 20, 26,812. You can see this chart on the left shows you that this is one of the narrowest trading bands we've been in for quite some time. Uh, perhaps in September, there was uh, that was around about the September the 24th. Yeah, 24th started a trading band, then we dropped sharply down to the low of October the 3rd, 25,743 in the Dow. So, we're looking at, it's quite impressive that the market has been able to hold up like this. Technically, it should have been uh, trying to go for uh, a test of 27,100s. Uh, it hasn't been able to do that yet. Um, and um, most importantly, if you're looking at the S&P, the S&P has held up quite well. The S&P at this point is up 7 at uh, 3,011. It's made a nominal new high above the high of three days ago. And the MACD and the stochastic are all very strong. Weekly chart is holding quite nicely. We haven't seen the MACD turn up yet. And the monthly chart was just a, less than a week to go. A uh, week today, exactly, um, is looking pretty good. So uh, let's go to the QQQ, the NDX 100. Um, nice gap up today. It's up $1.84 at $194.07. Hasn't take out, taken out the 194.50 high of about five days ago. But so far, it's acting well. And you can see this weekly chart. We're right up against the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. Uh, if we can get to the 195.30 area by... Uh, tomorrow or Monday, that'll be very good action. So, so far, that's good. The IWM, that's the Russell 2000, that's the, the uh, small caps uh, trading down 22 at 154, had a really good run to a peak D, and now it's kind of stuck. If you look at the weekly chart, it's just stuck in the middle of the range. Now, what's very interesting is that gold had a sharp move to the upside. It's still up, whoops, where did they go? Uh, it's up 6.8 at 15.02. It hit a trend line. You see this long-term downtrend line from the 4th of September. Um, it was not that long term before a daily chart it is. See this trend line? And it keeps hitting it and getting repelled. Well, it got repelled again. Now it's only up six, but it was all the way up to the 1505 level. If we can close above 1508, that'll say, hey, that's a nice breakout of this trend line resistance. And the dollar's been very weak. And today it's running a little bit, but... Um, it's still down quite sharply from the high of 99.46. Uh, crude oil is having a really strong session. We'll talk about these in greater detail in our show coming up straight after these important messages. This is Basil Chapman, the host of the Tiger Technicians 